Hello, I'm Art. And I'm Tony. And we are from GardenMastersWithZ.com. And boy, have we got a great plant for you if you want some Irish atmosphere. The luck of the, the Irish. Irish. Oh, you, uh, you can do that Irish accent. I can't. You have the luck of the Irish. Oh, very, very good, Art. <laughs> Anyway, it's called the shamrock, and here it is right here in front of us. The leaves so kind not, of resemble shamrocks. I thought, look, I thought that was a four-leaf clover. Well, it resembles no, clover. This Good. is like, this is clover. Yeah. But this is oxalis. Oxalis, the Latin name. And what, so it comes in two leaf colors. One is green and one is burgundy. The oxalis... Reginelli is green and the oxalis purple tri triangularis is okay. purple. They actually sometimes we'll go to the grocery store and we'll buy three plants and put them in a planter. Put one purple one in the center and two green ones on the side. Yep, and uh, we do have a planter exactly like that. But um, we want to give you some information on this plant because every plant you're seeing in this video is many years old. They have survived for many years. Now, they don't look the same as they did in the grocery store. In the grocery store, they're kind of more compact. Because they're freshly grown. Yeah, but as you, as you keep them, they get a little bit more leggy and, um, you know, not as compact. And they do produce these little white flowers, if you can see them. And they like light. So they like most indirect but bright light. And therefore, we have our planter in a southeast facing window. And that one does really well. These here are in a western facing window, which doesn't do as well. You know, the southeast one gets the light in the morning. And that's preferable. So they like to be watered once or twice, I mean once a week or once every other week. Now you can let them dry out and you'll see them get all wilty and everything, but they will come back. And if you happen to lose all your leaves, pull them off and magic, they'll all come back again. And the leaves, it's interesting thing about this plant, the leaves will oftentimes close up during the nighttime and then open back up once the light hits Excuse them again. Excuse me, it's not once in a while. They always close up at night. Did they... I say once in a while? Yeah. <laughs> so at night, they'll create this pyramid. And that's interesting, especially if you have kids because they'll say, Mommy, the shamrock went to bed. Night. <laughs> you could do that with your kids, couldn't you? Make it a game. <laughs> So the, sham, the shamrock plant, oxalis, is a perennial. It's classified as a perennial, but most people grow them as house plants such as us. But they will be hardy down to zones seven or eight, but we've never tried them outside. We've always just used them as house plants, and that's what we do. And as we said, we purchase these in a grocery store. Uh, usually around St. Patrick's Day, you'll find them in grocery stores. Our local one always has them. These are several years old. We haven't purchased any more lately because these are doing so well. But because uh, we don't normally go to nurseries at this time of the year, I'm not so I'm not really sure if any nurseries carry these. I'm sure these. they would um, carry them, you know, like a garden center that has indoor plants. Yeah, yeah, probably. So, so. they just scream Irish and turn on the celtic m and turn on the celtic music and start dancing because we like to dance too so if you have the luck of the irish or if you want the luck of the irish bring these into your house you'll love them you'll love them Subscribe to our free newsletter by going to gardenmasterswithaz.com forward slash subscribe. But before you go, check out this other video, which we think you'll like.